the member for Blacksland. That was it. That was it. Well, <laughs> Deputy Speaker, that was extraordinary. It's a reality. That was extraordinary. Um, for those who missed it, what we just saw there is the junior minister at the table just do a backflip worthy of Nadia Comaneci. Ah, because like in Rick case you missed it, what he just did then ah, is, more like Rick is, is, is gut this bill like a fish. He came into this parliament in December and tabled this bill and gave us a lecture about how important this legislation was, told us that it improved competition, that it improved efficiency, and now he's just ripped all of that out. Yeah, just told, ripped all of that out. This bill has out. eight parts, <laughs> and the government has just ripped five of them out. He's really? holding the fish skeleton up going to Ripped five of them out. How humiliating. How humiliating. In case you missed it, this is the first bill that's been introduced by this government on the NBN in two and a half years. And it's been gutted like a fish. And it's just been gutted like a fish. But I am glad to see the government capitulate oh. so heavily so quickly, because this is a bad bill. As I said when I spoke in the second reading debate, what the government has tried to do here is roll back important consumer and competition benefits that we delivered when we were in government. Things like universal wholesale pricing, things that provide fairness for people who live in regional Australia. It means that people living in the bush pay the same wholesale price for equivalent services as people who live in our big cities. And the Liberal Party wants to get rid of that, and the hapless National Party stood here ready to help them. Yep. And the only reason that it's not happening is because the Labor Party has stood in their way. And let's be very clear, Mr Deputy Speaker, the only reason they are doing this is not because they've changed their mind, because the minister just told us in summing up that he still thinks this is the right thing to do, the only reason they're doing it is because they know they can't get it through the Senate. And if they win the next election and they get control of the Senate, then you bet this legislation will be back. They'll be on to this like Donkey Kong. They'll be back into this trying to pass the same legislation again. In the meantime, we have more of this mess that they've made of the NBN. Remember, the cost of the NBN is now double what Malcolm Turnbull said double. it would be. He said he'd build it for $29.5 billion. That's now blown out to up to $56 billion. The NBN is now going to take twice as long as Malcolm Turnbull said it would to deliver it to everyone in Australia. He said everyone in Australia would have access to the NBN this year. That's now blown out to the end of the decade. And the cost to fix up the copper to make this dodgy second-rate NBN work, that's blown out not by 100 per cent, not by 200 per cent, not by 500 per cent, by more than 1,000 per cent. It was originally forecast to cost about $55 million. It's now over $600 million. And a leaked document last year showed that the Optus HFC network that they want to use for the NBN is not fit for purpose. And will cost more than $700 million to fix so they can use that. Malcolm Turnbull said that it would be a modest cost to fix that. Now we know it's blown out to $700 million. And the minister might have something to say about this because he used to work at Optus. So it begs the question, what did he know about this? And did he tell the now Prime Minister that it wasn't going to be a modest cost to fix the Optus HFC network? Why didn't he tell the Prime Minister that he was wrong? Or did he? I wonder whether the Minister will tell us the truth. And now, on top of this, this week, two more damaging leaked documents. The first, this document on the front page of the Sydney Morning Herald this week, that revealed that the cost of building their dodgy second-rate NBN, the copper fibre to the node, is going up and that the rollout of their fibre to the node is way behind their internal targets. This report, which is only just over a week old, says that they were supposed to be at 94,000 by the end of that week. It's only at 24,000. Oh. And then today, this report that reveals they've done a, a trial of a new type of fibre in Ballarat and Karingal, oh. and the cost of fibre is going down. Oh. 
And now, to add to this, we've got this humiliating back down by the junior minister today gutting this bill. Well, I can tell you, Deputy Speaker, we're very happy to assist the government in gutting their own bill. You should be embarrassed.